post an updated foundation routine. I don't really like do foundation routines, but I figured I, it would be helpful and I changed my foundation for like the first time in three years. I was using the Tarte Amazonian Clay and I went back to Makeup Forever HD, which I used to use a long time ago and I remembered I loved. I'm just going to show you how I do like all, basically all my face makeup every single day. So it's kind of an updated foundation routine slash my everyday face makeup routine. But um, before I start, I, I want to announce like just a disclaimer, like, everyone does their makeup differently, so if you do yours completely differently, no need to hate on the way I do it, like, I know some people get, like, super offended when people do their makeup differently than they do, so you don't have to follow this by any means, I'm not telling you this is how you should do it, I'm showing you how I do it, because I've got a lot of requests, so I just want to say that, so if you feel the need to leave a hate comment because my application process isn't like yours, then I don't really know, you just need to, like, get a life and probably, like, go clean your room. And my face is a lot whiter than my body, because I, like... When I go outside in the summer, like, I'm obviously wearing face makeup so my face doesn't get that tan, but my body is pretty, I'm pretty tan right now. I've had a couple times, so I get my face foundation to be darker than my, obviously my face, because I want to match it to my body. I'm Time by Bare Minerals, and it's the brightening and illuminating one. They have, like, an oil control, blah, blah, blah one, but I really do like this one. I find it, like, makes my foundation last really long and look really glowy, and I'm using this, like, tiny little mirror that broke off of my NARS packaging. So, yeah, ratchet, but I wanted to do it from, like, a far distance, not really up close, so, yeah. I, I put three pumps on this, and I blend it with my hand. It's, like, this kind of, um, light sh it's like has some, some few shimmers in it and it's like a yellowy color so it adds kind of like I feel like some tan to it and I already have my eye makeup on right now take my foundation which I, I, like I said it's a makeup forever HD I really do like this one a lot it's a lot lighter than the I used to use like I said the Tarte Amazonian clay which makes your skin look absolutely flawless like you could probably have a really shitty skin like I've had worn and I was really stressed during finals and like on that time of the month and it looks amazing this is a lot lighter but this looks really good in photos which I think is why it's like makeup forever HD I know a lot of people who my models and stuff use it just because I like how it photographs. Photographs really well. There's no white cast. It just makes your skin look really good. It's pretty, it's, I'd say it's medium to full coverage and it's just a lot lighter. So I just wanted a lighter foundation for the summer because it's just going to be easier. So I just put on my hand and I use this brush by It Cosmetics. It's like a double sided duo fiber brush. I use this one for concealer and this for foundation. So that's what it looks like. I'm going to start dabbing it and I'm going to dab it around my face and then blend. <laughs> I apply my foundation just like I said with the nice little duo fiber brush I feel like any duo fiber brush applies foundation really well I think it's like the best way to apply foundation just this it cosmetics bye bye under eye and light medium and I just apply it just under my eyes like obviously like dab it like one I apply one dot and it's so pigmented I use it for both eyes like you'll see in a second like okay it's ridiculous. It's so pigmented, so I just, I'm just i just going to use this little brush to blend it out. I also put it around my nose. I kind of use it as an all-around concealer, which I don't know if that's really smart, but I like the way it looks. I think it adds a lot of glow to certain areas. Put it anywhere where I can see like some discoloration or anything I want to have covered up. This one, which I use a little bit, it's, like, it's a Revlon Photo Ready Concealer in... Pale and light medium, and I sometimes I put this one not on pimples, but more on like just dark spots or something. Like sometimes from like here when I've had when I had acne or something, it, you could like see some spots. It's really not that intense, but I just put it on some places, and then use my fingers to blend out if I really am feeling it. I use an It Cosmetics powder, which is like the nice same as Nars packaging, so it's super dirty, but this is in medium beige, and it's the Celebration Foundation, and I'm almost out of it, and it's amazing. Um, it's like a powder, a really nice thick powder. I just kind of, I dab onto my face instead of rubbing it, because I like the way it like, kind of presses in the previous foundation. Then what I'm going to do, I usually sometimes use a cre cream contour, but today I was really lazy, so I'm just going to use a bronzer. I'm using Nars Laguna, and I cracked mine, so it's like really depressing right now, and... It's like, I don't know, it's really not a cool thing. It really bothers me. I just do it on my cheek. I do like a fishy face and then do it on my cheekbones, obviously. 
You can do it how you like it. If you don't like it really heavy, then don't do it. I don't know. Don't judge me. I like it the way it looks. I also like will put bronzer throughout my forehead for like a more glowy look. And then I bring it down to my neck to make sure it blends the color. Touching on my nose, which is like the most trickiest part to do. NW40A. So it's basically like obviously super dark. It's like really dark. And then what I do is just I kind of dot like a random line down my nose. I'm not really exactly super precise with it. And then bring it under and in like that. I can do a video on it. Like I like the way it looks. It's really simple to do. And then I just blend it with my face. first color from the Makeup Forever palette and like the light color. And I put it down the bridge of my nose and on the sides of my nose and then kind of bring it through my under eyes so that the color like near my nose matches my under eye highlight because other eyes it'd be like, yo, what is, what is up? The brush that I use and I'm going to use NARS Orgasm because it's like my favorite color right now at the moment and I just kind of put on like a diagonal. And if you put on my apples, I do a diagonal because I feel like it lifts my face more. So, you know, do what you wish. And then I blend that out with my fluffy foundation brush a little. And then I take Max by Candlelight, which is just like one of their shim like um, mineral skin finishes, and I use a fluffy, a different fluffy brush, and I put it on my cheekbones, on my nose, where I want to be highlights, basically cheekbones, other cheekbone, forehead, around my lip area, a little bit of my chin, and my nose. They're requesting me to do it, so that's why I want to do it. So I hope this is good, and I will obviously do another updated one as soon as it changes. So this has been like what I've been doing for like the past year, um, except for the foundation I switched out, but I love the way this foundation looks. So I hope you guys found this video helpful in any way, shape, or form if you were wondering what I put on my face, because I get a lot of comments on videos like, I like the way your face makeup looks, blah, blah, blah. So I hope you guys enjoyed and have an amazing day, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye! Get up!